hey, what I'm doing here on this job is the customer has removed the popcorn ceiling. They've sanded it off. And it didn't sand off perfectly flat right down on the raw drywall. They have a slight little, almost like a knockdown texture left on it. But it's pretty much dust free and it's pretty smooth. It's nice and tight. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to roll on some joint cap. And I'm rolling on a plus three compound that I have thinned down. If you can see, you can see it's pretty thin. I've added just water to it. So before I bring it up to the ceiling, I'm going to just remove that drip. I just rub it against the edge of the bucket. Now, another thing I want to mention is when, I, when I'm smoothing the ceiling out, the seam's go in this direction. So that's how I'm applying the joint compound. I'm going to roll it out in this direction because that's the way I'm going to remove it as well. It just works better if you apply it in the same direction you're going to be removing it. What I have here on this particular job is um, the temperature in the house is pretty cool. You know, it's probably 60 degrees in here and it's, it's not a real dry place. So I, I, can, I can apply quite a bit of compound before I need to start smoothing it out. Another trick is make sure you have enough compound on it. Don't make it too thin of a layer because you have, I have a little depth of this texture, so I want to make sure I have enough compound on there to properly fill that leftover texture from the popcorn. <clears throat> if, as you're doing this, you find it dripping all over the floor, your mud is too thin, or you're not scraping off the edge along the bucket because it really shouldn't be really messy. So I'm going to apply probably a uh, four foot strip here before I even start wiping it down. I like using the plus three compound because <clears throat> It's just easy to work with. It's very easy to smooth out. Okay, so I have a four foot wide by approximately seven or eight foot application. Now, I'm wiping it down with a 12 inch taping knife. This taping knife, I do have a curve in it. I bend it. You can see these aluminum edges. You can bend it by bending that aluminum that creates a uh, <clears throat> curve in your taping knife. And this is the concave side, this is the convex side. Convex side is the side you want against your compound because that way I'm less likely to leave tool marks because the very edges of the taping knife are slightly lifted off of the compound. So that's a cool trick that's going to help me to get this smoother. Now, I'm trying to smooth this compound. I'm trying to remove it all. So when I smooth compound, I keep my knife pretty flat. See how flat that is against that ceiling? I've removed almost nothing. And I don't have to do a really long stroke because right there it started out a little dry. And I worked my way across. This is an eight foot ceiling. I can reach an eight foot ceiling. If you can't reach an eight foot ceiling right from the ground, it can easily be done off a bench, what I'm trying to do. This is, I guess I'm just lucky on this particular job. They're all eight foot. I pulled this along and I think you get a little tool mark right there. I'm just gonna pull it back in the opposite direction, and it disappears. I'm not saying this is going to be a ceiling that is going to require no sanding, but it's not going to require a lot of sanding. And that's just how I do it. I, I'll basically do this to the whole ceiling, and then I'm going to take my six inch knife, I'll take the same compound, Put it on my knife. <clears throat> I want to give it a toss up piece around.
around this light and in these corners, <coughs> I just apply it right into the corner with the knot. Same thing around this light. Just put a little on the corner of your knife. Wipe it right in. This job is actually going to come out pretty good because there wasn't a lot of damage done to the ceiling when they removed the popcorn, which I was thankful to see. So that's just how you do it. That's basically how we're going to complete this ceiling. The things that you need to remember is use the proper compound. Thin it with water. In this case, I'm using the USG Plus 3. I thin it with some water to get it a nice consistency that it's not real sloppy. And use the proper tools. That's a roller with about a, a one inch nap roller. And I'm using a 12 inch taping knife that I've created a nice curve in. So it's pretty simple. Hey, be sure to click on this video to see how I use a similar method to create the ultimate smooth finish when taping drywall.